Welcome back, Unicorns, to another video. And today's video is another Halloween video. So if you want to see me create this look and hear the theme, stay tuned.
This is a pink Frankenstein's monster look using all of my goodies that I got from Unicorn Co. Um, cosmetics, I think that's the brand name. They gifted me some items to try out, and I want to do a Halloween look um, because when this is posted, um, it's still October, so I want to do a Halloween look. And since I got all pink makeup from that PR package, I wanted to do a pink Frankenstein's monster for y'all. So let me know what you think. I'll go over all the products I used. So the first product I use is um, the Unicorn Glow Longwear Primer as my first step before I put my foundation on. And I just showed I showed y'all when I put it on. It is very good um, found, uh, primer. I feel like it helps let the um, make the foundation stay better. It's lightweight. Um, I love the packaging. I'll show y'all. I tried to sample this um, in the past. I really did enjoy it, so I was happy to get another one. I love the packaging that they have. It's holographic with some stars, and it blends out amazing. It's not heavy on the skin or anything, and it is, if you don't know this brand, it is a um, K-Beauty brand um, that you can get in the, any drugstore, and I really recommend it if you love unicorn-themed makeup. And I love on the back it says, no unicorns harm, cruelty free, paraben free. So I love how it says that and there's like a little unicorn right here. So that's what I did first and I did, um, I will link all the other makeup I used that was not Unicorn Glow. Um, I did not show y'all when I applied it, but I did find, find my foundation, my concealer, and my powder. And then I came back and did the next thing. So let's talk about the next product. So the next product I used is this, um cooling weight can't wait cooling glitter stick and i use this right here and right here as the shimmer and it looks like this it is very cooling when i applied it i felt it um it is very um sorry the little plastic thing came flying off it looks like this and it was cooling and i don't think you're meant to be putting this over foundation that's already been set that's already scented like powder because it did break up my foundation a little bit but that's my fault because i did set the um foundation before i applied this but it was cooling and the shade is really pretty i did set it with another highlighter um to make it a little bit more glowy pink that's what it looks like on both sides it turned out really cute looking and i really love this stick and i can't wait to use it by itself or like when I want to do it under foundation to make my skin glowy like a pink color. This shade is in Messier. M-E-S-S-I-E-R. So it's really pretty. I really love it. And I love the cooling effect. And I feel like that will be great for like summertime. So that's what I did first. And again, I set it with a another highlighter um, to make it more blinding on the skin. And to kind of set it. I didn't know if you had to set it or not. I never used a product like that before. So that's why I did. Nothing happened after I set it. I just um, recommend not to do it after you set your foundation. But it's supposed to have, it has hyaluronic acid in it. And infused with 42% moisture content. Um, so I feel like this is great. Like if you want to apply it to your skin before you found, put your foundation on. To give yourself a glow under your skin. And to give like a shimmer effect. And yeah, I will try that next time under the foundation to see how it looks. But I wanted to show it, show it off like as like a piece of, you know, how Frankenstein's monster is in like pieces of different, you know, different color pieces. So that's what I try to do. So yeah, that's all, that's all for that product. Now let's get on with the next one. So the next one, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember. Oh yeah, it was the eyeliner. Um, I use the Unicorn Glow Unique Color Eye Pencil for the line work all over my face and then for my wing on this side. And I made my eyes two different colors because I feel like, you know, they're different pieces. This is a piece of another, you know, person or whatever you want to say it. But this worked really good. Um, I did have to wipe it some on the back of my hand to get the foundation off, but it worked very good at it. And, um, smudge or anything and it seems like it's staying place I really love the color and the color I got is number three moolah m-u-h-l-y 
and that's why I did all the line work on my face and then the wing and I decided to put my skin color as well um in this because I thought it would be cool looking and I love how it does that I did um with the line work it was really fun and I wanted to be a little bit different because I haven't saw a lot of people do the pink Frankenstein's monster they usually do the green and since I got the pink goodie to try out from the tongue glue I'm really wanting to try that so yeah it seems like it will stay out of I think we'll see it's waterproof and it is um the tip is flexible and it's easy to draw which is very nice like you, as you can see on the back of my hand where I wiped it you could do like thin lines or you know thick lines and stuff so it's very nice and um I, the wing was very easy to apply it didn't like bunch up or anything it was easy to glide onto eyes so I really did enjoy that and I can't wait to use that more um I love doing colored wings they're my favorite and they're so much fun so I can't wait to try that in another look so we got two more products I think I used and then one I had in my collection that I'll talk about last um that I had in my collection that I used in this video so the next thing I did is on this side before I did the eyeliner I forgot to mention that I did use this Unicorn Glow Gleam Eye Glitter is what it looks like. And the box is right here. Um, I did put this all over this lid. It's very pretty. And then I put it on the inner corner and under my brow bone on this side. And it's very pretty. Um, I did make sure to um, keep my eye closed as much as possible before it dried. Because I do have hooded eyes. So hopefully it doesn't crease some. But if it does, I'm always used to that. Because my ha my eyes are hooded. So sometimes when I put glitter on, even though it dries really good, the wear time doesn't last for me. But I wanted to try it for this um, look. So it's supposed to, it's, it was easy to apply. Um, I didn't have no problems with it. Um, it's very pretty. It has like flecks of pink, green, purple. It's so pretty on the lid. I really loved it enjoy it and it says it's quick drying which was very well um i didn't have to wait that long for it to dry and it seemed like after it dried it didn't smudge or anything when i did that wing liner so i really did enjoy this um i can't wait to use it more they did have other colors and um if i do show you a shade they did have other colors of them like the liner and the uh, glitter stick um but i will link the ones i got down below and before I get on with the last product I did, I do have a code for Unicorn Glow Cosmetics, or, yeah, I think it's Cosmetics, or Unicorn Glow. Um, they give me a code, which I'm so thankful for. And all these goodies that I got, I got in PR. I don't want to thank them for that. Um, I really do appreciate it. And if you do use my code at checkout, let me know down below. I would love to know. I want to thank you if you do. Um, and I was so grateful when they said they wanted to send me stuff. So, I really love this brand. It it's amazing. I tried it in the, before I even got PR for them. Um, and I really do enjoy it. And it's affordable brand, so I really recommend it. So let's get on with the last product that I got in my PR box that I used. And then the product I used um, that I had my collection already. So the last thing I used is this Sugar Glaze Lip Tint. Looks like this. I do have it on right now. It's a pinky color. And I think... This is meant to wipe off and it's supposed to tint your lip. I didn't do that, but this one's in Charming. Um, the number is four. And they did have uh, some other shades on there. I really do love this um, packaging. It's really pretty. And I love that you can see the color inside. And it applied really well. It's very creamy on the lips. It's um, not sticky or anything, which I really love. I don't like when, they're, when products have a sticky um, layer. And if I can read this, because it is on clear packaging, let's see. I don't really say, it just says the ingredients, but it's a lip tint. So I really recommend y'all check this out if you love the lip tint. If you like a lightweight build and color, a tint of color on your lips, you're really going to love that product. And they did have other shades on that one. Um, so I really recommend you to check them out. And the last product I used from Unicorn Glow that I had in my collection is the Unicorn Glow peach berry blush and I use that right here on this eye um the two pieces down here and then a piece up here and it's a blush and I really love it I one of my go-to blushes um that's what it looks like and I really love this blush I really recommend it 
Um, I will link this down below as well. Um, they did not send me this. I had this in my collection. Um, I really loved it. Um, it's one of my go-to. And I have a couple more products that I haven't used yet. And when I get time to use them and a look, I will make sure to let um, y'all know in the next video. But I use the majority of them. And I do have, um, I did pre-film a skin car part of me taking off makeup and all that stuff that they gave to me. So that will be coming up soon. It might be on my Instagram reel and my TikTok. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's on the link down below. If you want to see this unboxing of my Unicorn Glow Cosmetics goodies and I got on PR, I will link that um, video down below so you can go check it out and show it some love. If you, um, I will link all the stuff I use down below as well as all the stuff that I use on my face. Um, I don't have, um, I'll link the product. I will link the product to get there, but I will also at the bottom leave referral links um, just in case you do want to use them. Um, and this one for Unicorn Glow, I do have a referral link and code, so you can use it at checkout. Um, and I'll also link down below the playlist for 31 Days of Halloween, just in case you want to watch any other dates I do. As well as, um, I think that's it, yeah, just the th um, 31, days of pl uh, 31 Days of Halloween playlist for this year. So you can go check it out. And let me know in the comments where you go, what day is your favorite so far, I'd love to know. I've been enjoying doing this series. I can't wait for y'all to see the other days. And again, I don't know when this video is coming out, but it will say in the title what day it is and all that stuff. And yeah, so hopefully y'all did enjoy it. Let me know down below. And I think that is it. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of my pink Frankenstein's monster makeup look. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think I how you think I did. And let me know if you did enjoy seeing me try the Unicorn Glow products. I'd love to know down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Unicorn family. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And unicorns, always be yourself. Bye.